everybody, today I have a hair video for you. You guys all seem to really love my hair tutorials or hair how-tos. Um, not that I am a hair expert, as you will know, but as I learn, I like to share so that you guys can learn also. One hairstyle that I've been wearing a lot more recently since I've had my hair chopped off is a half updo top knot. Not that this is like extremely groundbreaking or anything. A lot of you have been asking me to show you how I recreate that. So I thought that I would do that as a little midweek video just to kind of show you how I do it. And also I have a strange little finger that is, I have a trapped nerve. <laughs> Sometimes this happens. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it with this wobbly finger. And I promise you, I'm trying really hard to keep it still. I don't even know if you can see how much that's wobbling. <laughs> Before filming this video, I washed and blow dried my hair and to do that I used the Alberto Balsam Stunning Shine uh, Shampoo with sesame oil. I love sesame oil, I've said this so many times, my hair just really thanks me for it every time I use it, just feels very nice and soft and it does add shine, especially when you have kind of blonde, blonde bits in your hair. I just find that blonde is never as shiny so it's harder to get that and it smells so good. So I used the shampoo and I used the conditioner, it's still a little bit damp. And then when my hair was towel dried and I then went on to properly dry it, I gave a few spritz of this just through, just through my hair. And it is the Alberto Balsam Blends Stunning Shine Shine Spray. Oh hello Nala, come to join me. Would you like some shine spray? Nala actually does have the shiniest fur ever, I'm quite jealous. It smells peachy, it smells like summer in a bottle. So my hair is prepped and super soft and now comes the part where Nala shows her, everyone her bum. Leave Malcolm alone. You're gonna sit? Good girl! You just like being in my videos, don't you? She's like, you're doing a video about hair? Well, I have a lot of that. I can sit in for this one. So I'm just gonna brush through. Then you wanna take, kind of just using your fingers really, you wanna take your fingers up, kind of aiming towards the back and the top and the middle of your head with both your fingers. Then once you are happy with how much hair you have, not too much, so as you can see, I've kind of let some back down just up here because my hair's quite thick. Then I'm just gonna use a normal hairband to secure that on top of my head. Then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is kind of just pull at the ponytail, just pull bits of hair out. I like to do this because Sometimes it's nice to have it really tight to your head, but I actually kind of prefer when it looks a bit more kind of undone and a little bit messy. I also take these bits out. Can't have things looking too perfect around here. You want it basically so that when you look at yourself, you can see it, not hidden. English, grammar, great. You then wanna get one of these little clear elastic bands. You can get these in like most hair places. You can get them in like big boxes because they are the sort of thing that break, that you lose, that, I don't know. The things that you find under your sofa when you move your sofa. Not that anyone ever does that that often. <laughs> then you wanna take your ponytail and you wanna twist it. This will be a little bit harder if you have short layers. So this bit you'll want to focus on a bit more, like a bit tighter but you don't have to be too tight. And then you wanna kinda of just bring it round. Bring it round. Get your clear elastic. And then kind of just get it to how you want it, like pull bits out, like tuck bits away. Um, this is the bit where you can kind of have a bit more control over kind of what it looks like. So mine right now is kind of big. So I'm gonna get some little bobby pins. I'm gonna secure the front down. Just pop them in anywhere really. If you see a bit that you don't like and you think it's sticking out too much, just get your pin and just push it in. It kind of like roots it as well. It kind of keeps it really like down on your head. And then I find it lasts a lot longer. 
even if you love the shape of your bun, it is always good to put a few bobby pins in there. Okay, I'm really happy with that. Sometimes I start again. I think things like this are so much about trial and error and like don't get disheartened if you've done it three times and it still doesn't look right. The trick is to wing it, like you just pull your hair up into a ponytail, twist it round and then as long as you've got that far, twisting it round the ponytail is kind of down to you. You can have it smaller, you can have it bigger. Um, once you've secured that first elastic band over it, you can really pull it and make it anything you want it to be and then you can also control how it looks and the shape of it with the bobby pins. That's my hair done for the day. I'm now just going to put a bit of hairspray on it just to keep any little flyaways down. Um, I've got the Tresemme Salon Touchable Feel. This is Superior Hold. It's also huge and I know that this is going to go missing and Alfie is going to steal it from me. And there you have it. A half updo top knot, which is kind of my go-to. And I'm like, nah, I don't really want to have my hair down today and I can't be bothered to curl it. I'm going to do half updo top knot. Also great to disguise kind of unfresh, little bit greasy hair. You look so cute. <laughs> Got Malcolm on one side and Nala on the other. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you do recreate this hair look, then be sure to tweet me a picture or tag me on Instagram. I will leave my social media links in the description below. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and I will see you again very soon. Bye.